like I'm Carlin, Brent, Zuh, or Carlin, or Zuh, Cody, whichever yeah. way you want to do it. <laughs> and then, well, we'll <laughs> keep our names. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, I'm Carlin. I'm Brent. I'm Cody. I'm Zach. Are you guys uncomfortable? Uh, getting there. I wish I could say I was. I feel great. Okay, we can start. Hey, I'm in New York. Hey, I'm Carlin. Oh, we're uh, since you guys have been friends for so long, what's like the dumbest fight you've ever gotten into? When we were a little, when we were in our early teens, we also were really into using his mom's deep fryer, uh, <laughs> just like just put other <laughs> put different things in. So I really wanted to make jalapeno poppers as deep fried as possible, and he kind of got wise to the fact that maybe it was this habit that was giving us all the acne. So he wanted to stop, and I didn't want to stop. <laughs> what about uh, like pettiest argument you guys have been in? what Tommy Lee's drum endorsement is or something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, because he has a mind like a steel trap, so if I ever oppose him, everyone in the whole band goes, Zach, don't do it. He's not. He's never wrong. I can't help it. I don't want to be like, I'm always right, but... You should see his Google searches, because he, he needs to know these things. So <laughs> we were looking, he was on Google, and we were, the autocomplete of his Google search listed men's hair products, um, backstory of Denny's restaurants, and, and uh, Tommy Lee drum endorsement. That oh. sounds like a, that sounds like an interesting story, actually. How did Denny's come to be? I think we were wondering, like, Wendy's has Dave Thomas, <laughs> McDonald's has Ronald McDonald. Who's like, what Denny? Is, what does Denny's have? <laughs> Turns out Denny's is super whack. <laughs> this time around, especially with the song, uh, the lead single, Swooner, it sounds like it has uh, a heavy 90s influence to it. it. Was was that intentional, or why do you think uh, the aesthetic is so important for you guys to handle this time around. I think we tried to rip uh, Big Bang Baby by Stone Temple Pilots <laughs> in the beginning. And then we're just like, didn't, don't do enough heroin. So it just ended up sounding like that. <laughs> so how do you go into writing lyrics then? I think actually the beginning of Sooner was because I was on the plane. Uh, I watched the movie uh, Disney's Mulan for the first time. And I <laughs> like this is recent, obviously. <laughs> off. I'm gonna have to get some, some <laughs> spooning going. <laughs> spooning. <laughs> Yeah, I had never seen the movie uh, Mulan, um, and uh, and afterwards I was looking around at me like, how come nobody told me how awesome Mulan was? I was like, I want to write a song about like the Mulans of of my life, I guess. Um, we do this thing where uh, we ask artists, "What's in your pockets?" Um, so I mean, like we can pull out what we have in our pockets. I just have a cell phone; it's mm, nothing special, easy. but room key. That's nice. Finest hotel in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Another type of key. Yeah, drum what key. What do you got here? This <laughs> You have a picture of Billy uh, Ray Cyrus. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, Interesting. That's weird. Oh, uh, you want to keep... I, didn't, I did not think that you were going to ask that. <laughs> this is for later. This is, this is for later. These are all for later. How many photos? That's a photo of me. Uh, okay, okay, just look at them all. Look at them all. <laughs> a photo of me, here. too. Fine. It's a photo of Carlin Ooh. and a gallant little little pony there. It's beautiful. Yeah. What were these for, exactly? They're just for, like, um, I have a warm-up ritual. Okay. okay. Interesting. So we tried to do do a lot of research for this interview, but when we Googled Zola's, uh, a bunch of Italian restaurants came up. So what's your <laughs> what's your favorite pasta? Actually, what's your least favorite pasta? Because yeah, I cares, hate penne. Who cares? And I'm passionate. Like. Hey, yes, I'm man. passionate about my hate for penne. It's lackluster. Penne does not interact well with sauces. That's the issue. I think the biggest issue, and that don't, I'm not downplaying your issue because that's an issue. But you can only fork one at a time. Totally. So when you're trying to eat it. It's just, it's trouble. Am I the only one that likes to fork pasta? Like a bow tie pasta, I think, is great. And, and you can get a thousand on your fork. If you have a big enough fork, you can put an entire bowl of spaghetti twirled on a fork. And you can just eat it like you could just eat it like a candy apple. How but if you have like a spatula, you can put a sandwich on it. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. how, how big of a fork can you get? Because I was thinking about this invention. Because you know how forks only have four prongs? I was thinking about making the five prong fork. Like a fike? Is it called a fike? Well, if it was three, it'd be a threek. No. Is that why a fork's oh. called a fork? Oh my god. Think about it. I think there's forks with three prongs, isn't there? There are three prong. Have you ever seen? There's probably five prong, but I want to make the five prong fork the standard in cutlery. Well, this interview has been a little long. We're getting a little tired, and we have a story, and we're wondering if you'd read it to us so we can go to bed. Once upon a time, there were two handsome knights named Barlin and Splint. Not only were they knights, Barlin was a dragon who could do dragon stuff, like breathe fire, and he also the president. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
few typos in here. <laughs> Splint was also a ninja who also owned a very successful fast food empire. He owned like um, three. Yeah, three. Three Kentucky Fried Chickens. The world was about to blow up, but Barlin and Splint did what they always do. Hang on a sec. Actually, those three KFCs were combination KFCs with Taco Bells. <laughs> combination KFCs with Taco Bells. <laughs> yeah. Back to the story. Barlin and Splint made it not blow up because they're cool and popular and everybody likes them a lot. The, the end. end. That's very beautiful. Look at these sleepy oh boys. God, this is so... I, can I ask you something? Sure. Are you uncomfortable? I am now. I am now. It's all time high right now, yeah. Yeah. 